redemption and your sweet redemption. I will never let you down. Will it ever get funny? Oh, I want it, honey. Baby, how you make me sway. You say you will. I'm calling your addicted friend. You say you will, yeah. I'm crossing the obsessive line. You say you will. I'm calling your addicted How's it going? Happy 211, otherwise known as 1111. You see what I did there? I like to mess around with numbers like that. It also happens to be Super Bowl Sunday, so if you're a big fan of that stuff, I hope you enjoy your day today. Here at Roleplaying Unlimited, we have two streams going on today. That's right, two 
One starting right now with group number three, and the next one starting later on with group G24. So we'll see what's going on with both of those teams here very shortly. Let's jump into the primary stream chat right now and get everybody woken up with some good old drill sergeant right here. Somebody's missing from the stream, damn it. Who's not here? Al, Al. Oh. Al, 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 Al. What's going on, everybody? Um, I was Hello. I was just giggling at how um, Mark said my my turtle's name. Al, uh, I all right. Is What's, it not pronounced Belial? It could be Belial. That's another I mean, way. It, it could be. <laughs> She's called Belial. Belial. Oh, okay. That's just the first. That's the. That's how I heard it pronounced the first time. Oh, I heard it's, the name. it's it's great. We could, we're gonna change her name now. That's right. Do it. Belial, the desolate one. Who are we missing from the uh, the, the Discord chat right here? I think we have eight eight players total, but I only see seven. Same thing. Um, roll twenty. That's because Connie's not here. That's exactly what's going on. Where's Connie? Connie, get in here now! Do it. <laughs> Did someone catch in the Arnold voice change at the very beginning of this scene? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody did, but uh, somebody should have. <laughs> I'm, I'm still recovering from my hell week. A lot of driving, it sounded like. A lot of late night stuff, too. Yo, Shags, what's happening out there, buddy? For everyone that for anyone in this group that didn't know, uh, Thursday, I woke up at 7, and I ended at 4.30 on Friday morning driving. Nice. That's, that's what I they call safe driving. Yeah. Yeah, safe driving. Uh, making sure you take your eight-hour fleet break, break in between so that way doesn't fuck with your hours and stuff but uh i ended up driving all the way back to salina just for them to refuse my load because they had too many loaded trailers so i'll have to go monday tomorrow morning to help. no what's going on hey look don joined, don did end up joining us today good morning <laughs> good morning hey when's our long rest <laughs> we're not having one we're not allowed what do you mean yes. a long rest? Yes. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm getting my own long rest somewhere else. <laughs> I got excited. I saw that there were eight oh, players. Done. I saw that there were eight players, and I was like, all right, Connie's here. Wait a minute. I still don't see. Oh, it's Don. Don was here. <laughs> well played, buddy. Don came in just for the long rest. <laughs> well played. All right. Well, uh, hopefully Connie will join us at uh, some point here pretty soon. Uh, Boomkin actually has the next turn in our current initiative. Uh, you'll note that we are immediately here, back in the Lithid Casino, continuing on with a multitude of different storylines going on at once. So far, we have seen Zyfax meet up with some nobility from Enemir and Isilia, who are seemingly aware of what's going on with his family at the current time. Uh, he and I discussed some of that over the past two weeks in private chat so we'll pull uh we'll continue on with that here today otherwise uh viesa met up with an elf with a uh surly dwarf companion and uh this elf has been hanging out here for some time waiting uh for another elf to show herself, and he's been unable to find her, so uh, Viesa has kindly volunteered to take up the search, and she is on that track. And uh, last but not least, all the way down here over at the bar, our Goliath friend has met a uh, rare sight, another Goliath, and this guy is tending bar. So uh, we're having a good old time here. Our Cruella, Rog, and uh, unnamed Goliath bartender number three. So with uh, Boomkin having the next turn in the initiative, we did get a brief glimpse of uh, this mischievous fellow. 
standing at his slot machine and uh, as Vieso walked in uh, he was uh, very very interested in her appearance it seemed and almost immediately thereafter <laughs> Boomkin and her two companions went up and uh, surrounded him in a, uh, a, a stranglehold here so let's see uh, what you have on your plate he does not appear uh, so much intimidated as uh, amused and curious as to what is about to happen. You and me both. Um. Okay. So, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of question him and be like, "Why were you looking at my uh, my companion Viesa over there? What's she of interest to you?" Have you seen her? She's gorgeous. You know she's a child, right? A child? Wait, is she one of those fey folk that look one that look like they're adult, but they're actually like a hundred years old, but they're still considered like they're five years old? Yes, that that would be correct. Hence why me and my uh, my friends came over here to stop you. Oh, for the love of server, server. Well, never fear. Well, There's no need to stop anything. I'm not that kind of a sicko. You best not be. I don't want my I don't want my heritage tainted by you. Well, you and I looking at uh, some obvious similarities. Our heritage may be uh, a little more closely connected than appears. And and what what do you mean by that? You're a tiefling, aren't you? I, I am, yes, and so is so is uh, Vex over here. Yes, yes, likewise. I mean, I can I can see you are looking like a tiefling with your horns. I suppose I could be a, a human with some kind of mutation, if that's what you're getting at. Well, I I don't think think that would be the case. But you claim that we may be more closely related. In in what way? Uh, just that, uh, the tiefling clans, I'm not sure how familiar with the genealogy you are. There's a lot um, of common connections as far as, uh, fourth cousin, second cousin, etc. Hmm, okay, well, we'll just assume that, you know, we're on the same page here. That's fair enough. I'll get back to my game if, uh... You've got no further need of, uh, yeah. <laughs> he kind of looks around at both sides. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends if you have any information you could offer a fellow tiefling. I'm not very much uh, one who traffics in information. I traffic in pleasures of the flesh, mind, and soul. I don't know how to respond to that one. <laughs> A.K. I'm a server. <laughs> you can kind of tell looking at his eyes as he's talking to you, he's definitely under some kind of intoxication and a very powerful one at that. Welcome, Emma. Okay. I I'm just going to kind of hover for now. And see if he tries to wander off somewhere. And if he does, I'll follow him. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, let's check. Uh... Yeah, that's okay. Uh, go ahead, make your way to uh, wherever you're heading off to. And while you do that... Um... Is Whoopass just not on the map? Oh, there he is. He's right. He's like one row of slot machines directly to the north. I instinctively looked everywhere else except right next to where I was. <laughs> yeah, he's interested in the slots. Well, all right. If you're uh, just getting into some slots, it is your turn on the uh, the counter here. So, how much uh, are you wagering? These slots will accept anywhere between one and ten gold pieces per pull. I shall give 
Uh, ten gold pieces a shot. All right. Roll a percentile for me, if you will, please. 1D100. See if the odds are in your favor. A uh, three? Well, shit. Roll a die four in addition to that. Okay, respectable. You uh, definitely hit a mini jackpot on your very first pull and had a chance to hit the mega jackpot in the ensuing mini game. You did so so in the ensuing mini game, but that does turn your 10 gold piece investment into uh, 990 gold pieces plus your 10, 10 pieces back for an even 1,000. Yay, good job. Yeah, the only good. thing he can hit. Good for you. Don't, <laughs> Don't try lifting or moving the casino now. <laughs> Uh, do you wish to play again? That was a pretty quick game. I mean, slots are typically not your friend, but when you roll uh, low on the uh, end of the percentile, it can be. Yeah, sure. I'll take another. T I'll do another ten. Alrighty. Same deal. One die, one hundred. Wow! <laughs> okay, let's get that die for again. Oh, this is a so this is a game we're rolling low. Apparently, this is good for you. Apparently. Oh woo, woo, oh woo! Wow! Damn, even did he did the lowest possible result on the mini game, unfortunately. So uh, your ten gold pieces uh, nets you ninety for an even one hundred this time around but still uncanny getting uh, two lucky pulls in a row like that alright then hey thank you for the tier 2 resub there Emma good to see you here today alright what do you say uh, third time's the charm or uh, shall we proceed elsewhere my friend I think I think Wolfass is going to like Oh, somebody cast the silence spell on him. No, I just I just need to adjust my current coin percentage real quick. Anyways, gotcha. Uh, I'll do another one because I, I think Max, I think Whoopass is gonna assume that this thing just gives money in exchange for more money. <laughs> All right. Percentile one more time here. Oh, bust. Ten gold pieces lost. Oh. And uh, just a few feet away, hanging out with uh, his friend Elias, is Cyrano. What do you think you're going to get into here? Well, we were going to play music, but I didn't realize that someone was already playing music. So uh, ah, that's I right, guess that's we won't. Right. I guess so. I so I'm not going to do that. Uh, no, I think I'm just going to let other people go. I have a bit of a cold, Daniel, so I'm just going to hang back with the role play a little bit today. Okie dokie. Hope you feel better soon. Real quick, I don't think I'm in initiative. I don't think I've gone yet. Uh, Cruella has a seven. You're actually up next here. Oh, sweet. Okay, I just can't see me. Sweet. That's, yeah, that's very weird. I see everybody on the player side except for you. Yeah, we, we had this last time, didn't we? Like, some of them didn't show up in one of the it's games the we were It's the strangest playing. thing. Okay, so I've added her again, and it shows up on your side. So let's see if this one will take. Wait. There, there. I see me at the very bottom. Perfect. Okay. Well, we're. Uh, it's your turn right now. So there we go. Yay! <laughs> yeah, go right ahead. Um, I think I'll buy a drink for this crow-looking person. All right. 
Hello there, friend. How are you taking uh, your day so far? The bird, bird, bird. Bird is a word. Gives a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> gives a turn towards you. And uh, kind of uh, coquettishly raises a, uh, a wing and lifts the feathers in response. Oh, you're not quite the type who usually approaches with such a kind gesture. To what do I owe the pleasure of such such admirable company? Not much, just enjoying my day and looking to fang friends. Well, we are much in the same boat, although uh, perhaps with a slightly different purpose. Oh, really? What's your purpose, friend? takes a sip of the drink that is offered. I am not certain how familiar you are with raven folk, but for my kind on this moon, or this world, I should say, it is, uh, it is mating season. Oh, well, I wish you good luck with that, my friend. Oh, but of course. I don't uh, imagine there are many of my kind around here, but we have uh, our ways of finding each other. I have to admit, initially I thought perhaps you were in magical disguise and looking to pull a prank on me. You're not, are you? <laughs> no, I wish I was, but I'm a human. Er, uh, I'm a half-orc. <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> Yeah, you know how it is. You have a few drinks, you start forget to forget what you are. Well, if you have a few more and decide otherwise, my table is still open. Thank you for the offer, friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost awkward. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sweet. With that, I think I'll probably uh, end my turn. Alrighty. Uh, the She's cost for the drink uh, is the three point. silver coins. Sweet. And we will pass it over to Rog again, who's uh, standing nearby and can pretty much clearly hear all of that, even over the uh, the PA. Oh, hey, oh, barkeep. More for me, my friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's gone. No, right. More for me. Well, I I think I can make that happen for you, lad. Um. That's right, we had a, a special deal going here, and we're still still under that one hour, so he goes and slides another pair of large, frothy ales over in your direction. So, uh, I saw you came in with, uh, a large group of people. Uh, anything, uh, anything special going on? Oh, no, 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 we're just letting... A little rest, come on, that's all. We heard about this place, so we thought we'd come in and check it out. But tell me one thing, though, Bar. Keep. Mm. Who, who's the, the squid face over there and that white pearl man behind him? Who's oh, he? Oh, shh, shh. You keep it down about that stuff. That's the, uh, that's the head honcho in charge. And, uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because he can read thoughts. But, uh, best not to give him a reason to have any uh, excuse to try to probe into your mind, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, he uh, he runs a tight ship here at the, uh, the casino. The money's good, and uh, the opportunities are plenty, but uh, the work is, uh, is long and tedious, and uh, you best not step out of line, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hold on. I, I try to remember that. Try me. Yo, thanks for the tier three resub there, brother. Diego. And what about the, the pale one behind him? Who's he? Um, he kind of peers over into the dim lighting there. Is there someone over there? Oh, got a name oh, I don't know. It. I don't know. Is it? Um, oh, oh, am I just seeing things? Am I that drunk already? No, 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 there is somebody over there, isn't there? 
I've never seen that feller. Uh. What? Is that a ghost? Well, if it is, cheers to him. Next back, back a bottle of ale. All right, cheers to that. Uh, I think I've had a uh, my shift's allotment already in the last. How long has it been? Twenty. Oh dear God! Only twenty-one minutes. Oof! I better slow down. I still got many, many hours ahead of me, friend. But uh, yeah, you uh, you go ahead and keep pounding them back. I'll keep bringing them. Right. That ends right in. All right. And for the last couple of minutes, uh, Connie has just kind of been here basking in the surroundings that she sees ahead of her. Slot machines, poker tables, blackjack, roulette, all over the place. There is a sports betting, uh, as we posted in Bullstoon's Tavern earlier, available over here. There is a live stage somewhere in the casino with the performance being uh, beamed in via hologram all the way up here. You can see members of your party spread in all different directions. Uh, most of them are in conversation with a variety of people. Whoopass is uh, one of the few people who's actually uh, enjoying the games or playing the games, uh, one or the other, or both. Uh, what do you think you would like to do upon your approach? You with us there, Emma? Oh, maybe she stepped away she's for a moment. Uh, no. Hey, she's typing. Oh, there I see. Yeah, yeah, we can't. Issues. We cannot hear. Yeah, I don't see the green ring around your uh, Discord icon there, so it doesn't look like it's a connection I'm familiar with, or a connection issue I'm familiar with. All the same, perhaps logging out and jumping back in will resolve the uh, the setup. Otherwise, uh, feel free. Oh, she jumped out. <laughs> there we go. And she's back. Any better? Yay! There we go. It Yay! Yep, that was How about okay. that? Nice. Okay, sorry guys. All right, so basically, Connie is stood there like a kid who's just walked into the most amazing toy shop that she's ever seen in her life. All the lights. Bye completely unfamiliar to her she has no clue what is going on um she's seen kind of a really awkward conversation between a giant bird um and, and um we've got uh, cruella over there and she was gonna head in that direction because she does love everything covid but then um she thought she may as well stay away so she's gonna head straight ahead towards the big um golden cube in the center of the room all uh, right and pretty much not do anything else because she's just so distracted by all the noise, the lights, everything else. So, yeah, we're just going to take movement on this turn. Alrighty. Enjoying the surroundings and finding a, a what appears to be a solid gold work of art. Uh, the slashes in the sides of it appear to have possibly been gouged by some enormous monster once upon a time but uh, nevertheless for what is a somewhat plain display it does have a uh, an elaborateness about it just to be 100% uh, clear as well as she's walking over so um, Domino her ra uh, her magpie was tucked away in a hood after the last session so she's just going to let Domino come out and sit on her shoulder and have a look around as well very cool feel free to uh, drag the token onto the board where would I find that, Daniel? Sorry. Uh, is that uh, the raven? Uh, I, I can't remember what you made for him. Um, Domino was a magpie. I Unfortunately, I cast him at the end of one session and then wasn't there for the next one. Oh, so. nope, that's Steve who has that. I guess I lost the uh, the token for it. Uh, what other kind of bird might it possibly fall under as far as uh, familiar options? I know Raven is one of them. Otherwise, uh, 
it'll just be a narrative it's there and I don't have a token for it right now. Rats. Lost connection again, huh? That is a shame. Uh, well, we're we'll try to resolve the uh, familiar thing when she uh, gets back in. If uh, if the last time was any indication, then uh, drop out and jump back in again. <laughs> Maybe that's uh, what'll need to keep happening. In the uh, the meantime, we'll send it all the way back to the top of most of the Papa most with uh, Zyfax and the Council of Nobles currently under this. Uh, this balcony here where these two people are seated at a table and just enjoying some drinks. Okay, so Zyfax would step away from them, excusing himself to move over here. And do we have some type of telepathic type thing or, or do I just cast a message multiple times? Uh... I'm not aware that your group has a uh, telepathic bond, but as part of the TACX crew, you do all have, like, uh, basic communicators. Okay, so I would tell everyone in the group that the nobles that I have found and talked to, there is a way that they can get us an audience with our target, but it will cost about 500... Sorry, I was... It will cost about 500 gold pieces each to them. So 2,000 in total just for us to gain an audience with our targets. I mean, that's not like too expensive. So should we uh, group up or should I try to talk to the target alone? Do you think... You'd have more luck alone or with us? Possibly with others because, um, let's see here. Um, my persuasion is only a five. And my deception is only a one. Okay, well, my persuasion is only a five, but my deception <laughs> is a five. I have an eight for both. See or no? I have a three for deception and persuasion. So I think we should have Sierra do the talking. I can. So, so let's have Sierra meet up with Zyfax, and Zyfax and Sierra try to tag team and talk our way into the location of the Don Juan or Don John or whatever you want. Whatever the thing's the called. The Don John. I'm on the I, way. I'm Mexican. I'm, I'm okay. I'm Mexican. I'm a. It's a <laughs> oh no! I wasn't. I wasn't trying to correct you. I just. It's just a funny word to say. I know. Look, Juan is an amazing. So word. we're gonna you use the bard to talk to people. Like, come on, guys. What's up with that? Yeah, we're gonna use the persuasive. <laughs> yeah. Because persuasive person can also do like bardic inspiration. I was, oh no. <laughs> you think? You can start singing. <laughs> Thank you I for the give, follow Star I, Crawl RPG. I I could give him the help action introducing and stuff like that and me and him could try to talk our ways into the location, which is what we came here for. And then we can gamble and enjoy some time afterwards. Holy shit, Elias just fucking jumped off of the cliff. Uh RIP <laughs> friends. We never knew he had problems. You guys should have uh, should have spent more time with him. That's true. Elias, right, remember so, that. I, okay, so I guess I'll go pay the royals real quick and then end my director. And I'm bringing my friend um, Cyrano along with me to talk to him. I see, I see. And, uh... They look over the uh, the coins out of game. How much are you paying? Five hundred a piece. Then was what we talked about last session, and so two thousand and. Two thousand. 
2000 what? Uh, no, uh, they're each getting, they said that they can introduce me, but they would want their money, their hands greased for 500 a piece. So 2000 in total. Gotcha, gotcha. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so let's, uh, I'm going to take our four friends and get them on down over here where they will prepare to make uh, said introductions. Oh, don't mind me, Count Strahd von Zorovich. It's a, everything's okay. So I'll just explain to him to wait us to them and then talk to the, well, the target. Whose name is similar to mine, is like, but not exactly like <laughs> mine. It's like Zaval. Zaval, was that it? Uh, uh, Shival, but yeah. Zival, yeah, Shival. Yeah, it's the SH of the X variety, so to speak. Uh, but while you're getting all that set up, we will have uh, Viesa, who is currently off at the uh, other table games section of the casino where the poker and blackjack tables can be found. And you're currently on the lookout for an elf of some type. Yes, VS is looking for an elf, and the lovely elf that she met told her that she would tell she would be able to tell who it was. So it like, is there a rule I can make to see if this elf is in this area? That would be perception. My Excel skill is only an eight. You should make the spreadsheet. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Well, then. A dirty 20. All right. So you spend a good uh, 10 minutes wandering around here at the table games. There are other elves uh, present. There's not many of them because uh, most of the denizens here are uh, of the orcish, tiefling, dragonborn variety, not your uh, traditional D&D races, dwarves, elves, uh, halflings, etc. But, uh, yeah, no sign of any uh, any elf that's like, okay, that's gotta be the person. Okay, so is just gonna make her way back to the main room since she has to walk through the main room to get to the rest of the areas. Alrighty. And uh, a little quick exchange there, and as you're passing through, uh, you'll probably come into contact with Zyfax and uh, Cyrano as you're passing through this way. She'll just walk up behind Zyfax and Cyrano for now because she doesn't want to accidentally push them off the. <laughs> 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 floor so she'll just kind of stand behind them until they're done with their encounters oh yeah like we said before in true star wars universe style there is no railing i told them forget the dental forget the medical all i want is a rail one rail right here you know what they said they're afraid we'd be leaning all day robot chicken yes yes <laughs> oh, i thought it was family guy yeah, it's one or the other, right? It could have been. It could have been Family Guy, actually. Now that I think of it, it was one or the yeah. other. They both do Star Wars specials. It's okay. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, any RP between the uh, the group of you gathered here? No need to wait for initiative. We're kind of in uh, free form right here. Uh, I'll introduce myself to the noble Cyrano. Who used to be a Secret Service guard, so he used to like. Uh, work with nobility all the time so he does this formal bow i would do my french accent but my throat hurts too much to talk so i'm just gonna just talk normal and sure. say uh say pleased to meet you sir um my name is Cyrano da silva are you talking to me i'm talking to the the the, the, the noble guy that you introduced me to Oh, no, they're going to bring us up to the guy. 
they're oh, I they, thought we were there already. No, okay. no. The person that's behind us is Biesa. She's right behind you. Uh, yeah, then, then then I'm cool. I'm ready to start whenever you're ready. <laughs> let's, make, let's make our way over. <laughs> oh God, dude, dude, take a cough drop. Yep. All right. Well, it is uh, it is technically VS's turn right now. So if we have no exchange in that regard, uh, feel free to continue forward, and uh, we will proceed with the next turn. Yeah. Then I'm I'm done. You can go to Boomkin then. All right. So what you thinking, Sarah? Well, I'm going to signal for like Vax and Tentacles to like keep an eye on the tiefling because uh, he's suspicious over there. Just trying to find some action. Everybody thinks there's something wrong with me. <laughs> I'm going to go to the blackjack table. Blackjack? I'm, I guess in these ones that I'm at now. Uh, those are all roulette tables. The, uh, the blackjack and poker areas are off in this direction, off the map. Okay, well, I'll just sit, like, right at the edge of the map, and we'll pretend I'm over there. All right. We're looking to play some blackjack, is it? Yeah. Well, let's, uh, get on over to the blackjack table. Look at what we have here. Okay, that's pretty awesome. That is quite cool. Thank you, thank you. And That's we awesome. have uh, some D&D themed playing cards right here. Only the face cards are obviously, and then the back of the cards are kind of like, uh, we can see some magical arcane glyphs and what have you. Uh, but Blackjack, we will first deal a card face down. Sarah card face up. Either card face up. Oh boy. Sarah card face up. So you've got a 19 right now. Damn, that's good. Against uh, yeah, I'm what? Stick. I've got a 10. Let me take my card here to see what I've got. Alright, you're going to stay. Alright, so putting the card back down and reveal. Wouldn't you fucking know it? A 20. Of course. All right. First game is free. How much would you like to wager? We will do anywhere from uh, 10 gold pieces to 100 gold pieces per hand. Um, let me see. Let's go with 50 gold pieces. <laughs> totally rigged. 50 gold pieces. All right. Do the card face down. Your card here is a 10. Do the card flip. Another king. And you have got a 16. Hmm. Oh shit, I deleted the card. <laughs> well shit, that changes the game. I'll just have to deal myself another one and see what this is. Daniel just didn't like his card and got rid of it. Yeah, that's what I think. And shit, that's a joker. I can't use that. <laughs> I thought I took those out. All right, well, there's that. So what's thinking? I I will take a chance. Yeah, give me another card. All right. So dragon another one. Sixteen. Oh, it's a jack. Bust. Busted. My first card was a nine, so I had a nineteen to begin with on the first go. All right. So you lose fifty golds. Oh no. We'll set this joker off to the side. Alright, care to play again or are you busted? Yeah, go on then. Alright, another 50? 
No, let's go 100. Hundo! All right. There's the scary, I know. <laughs> what do you got there? Is that a three or an eight? It's a little far That's away. That's a three. A three? Because, well, you showing... know, there's like three little pictures. Oh, there we go. So you've got... Oh, I'm 11. definitely going to take another card. All right. Is it? Oh! Well, uh, has to be at the plus one. If you use the uh, the full ace value, it's going to bust you. Counts as either one or eleven. Well, then I'll have to use it as a one. Right, so now you have a twelve. Yeah, so hit me again. All right. Oh, and there it is. Busted again. Yeesh. Shuffle them back in. One more game on this turn. Yeah, go on then. Two. Hundred again. Yeah, go on then. All right. <laughs> You've got to keep going till she wins. <laughs> I mean, I've got like sixty thousand, so I'm good. Woo. All right. So I'm showing a seven. And you have got a 14. Hit me. All right. 16. Hmm. I think I will stick. All right. Check out what I got here. Take. All right. I will take a card. I will take another card. <laughs> No. 17. Rigged. <laughs> you know what it is? I yeah. guarantee you, I guarantee if I picked my own cards, I would get <laughs> better numbers than what you pulled out for me. You, what, <laughs> Just what, putting it out there. What casino lets you grab your own cards, Sarah? <laughs> um, the, the casino of Boomkin. <laughs> he, he lives in Las Vegas. The house always wins. The house wins is bullshit. I don't really play cards. Sports, uh, sports betting was more my uh, my forte, but I'm familiar enough with the uh, the general rules. Ah, uh, what do you say? Squeeze one more in. Go on then. Hundred. All right. You know there's a bet in Blackjack where you take a card and you double your bet, but you can't take any more cards after it. Yeah, like the split or whatever it was. It's, it's called a double down, so you double the your double bet. The double down, yes, yes. Uh, so you've got a 13, looks like. Hit me. All right. You've got this. Motherfucker. See, I told you. I told you. Every time, every Oof. time Daniel rolls something for me, it's bad. He's not Watch rolling, it. he's drawing cards. Okay, every time he draws a card or he rolls a dice or he a <laughs> thing, it's bad. You're playing against the house. The house always wins. I don't believe in that rubbish because I'm quite good at blackjack in real life. Oh boy. Is that correct? Am I dealing the cards out of order? Like what? I deal one to myself and then all the players and then I deal my, my own card last? Is that how it goes? Yeah, I definitely was never a, uh, a dealer. Oh, I see. I see. I thought it was me, you, me, you, etc. Alright, well. Uh, well, no, for, no, no. Yeah, cards is cards. We'll try that going um, forward. Did, did the did the T thing move at all? 
Uh, he is in the same space. He's still playing, and let's just check how his luck is going. Uh, not really good at all. So back across the next line of slot machines to where uh, Whipass had significant luck last turn. What do you think in this round? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna like step away from it because now, now Mass is just disappointed that he lost that he lost money the third time. I think I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna maybe go for. Mm, uh, I'll just start wandering around, I guess. Poker, roulette, blackjack, roulette, or, blackjack role play. or role play, or the bar, or the bar. Just watch the uh, watch the show. The, uh, I guess I'll just watch the show. I guess over here. Okay. One moment on that. There it is. Okay. So, Whoopass has been bardically inspired for the day, and it is the maximum value, plus one die 12. This is a very Sweet. famous singer and a very moving performance, and you feel almost as if she is speaking directly to you. Nice. Heck yeah, yeah. And right here, uh, with Aerosmith's living on the edge playing in his head, is Cyrano standing on the edge. Okay, I'm ready to go meet the guys. Should we head on over, Cyvex? I don't think Kevin has a signal to walk over to him yet. Okay, you lead the way. I don't know where we're going. All right, since you guys are linked up in the same initiative here, I'm just going to remove Cyrano from the initiative, and you will go at the same time as uh, Zyfax here. And then back over to... Is Cruella hanging out with Bard, Bard, Bard? Can I ask Zyfax what it is that he needs me to ask about the guy? Because Styrano yeah, wouldn't know because he was on the other side. Absolutely. Our, As we're walking over. Our mission is to discover the area and coordinates of the John John. Remember? Just no violence. Which is refreshing for once. And we're just waiting for my, I don't want to call them allies, but the people, I, the acquaintances I have, to allow us in, and then we will go from there. I'll let you do most of the talking. You're more persuasive than I am. Sounds good. Take it away, Cruella. All right, what do I want to do? Definitely gonna walk away from this bird. Oh, you don't want to hit on the bird more? Yeah, I haven't quite had enough drinks for that yet. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I just watched the birds yesterday, so that would be a very interesting uh, mating ritual. <laughs> At least it's not ducks. Oh, man. Well, ducks were in the birds as well, and they bit seemingly the hardest of them all. <laughs> yeah, ducks are wild. Um, are the... I think these are also machines. Um... Right? Uh, I'm not seeing where you're pointing. Uh, they are, yes. I'll give that machine a go. Okay. Similar to uh, the other slots, except these are the high limit slots. You can bet between 100 and 1,000 per pool. Jesus. All right, I'll try it 100. All right. 
Roll that percentile. Uh, 100? Uh, yes, one die 100. Okay, I've forgotten the control for this. Uh, forward slash R, space, the uh, dice combination. Or you can use a dice roll on the side. Correct. So forward slash, is it, wait, space? Uh, it's, it should be on the same key as the question mark. Okay, okay. Oh, I see what I did. Oh, busted. A hundred gold pieces lost. Womp womp. Yes, uh, ugh. I'm not a gambler, so I'll stop there. <laughs> <laughs> Arg, stupid slots. Uh, and I guess with that, I'll go back to the uh, bar. All right. Grumble well, over a gotten, drink. You could have gotten like 50 drinks for that one pull over there. Says the, oh, uh, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he slides over a drink on the house here in Consolation. Thanks, friend. And uh, how about Rog? Yeah, more All right, let's see a constitution saving throw. And we will slide some more over. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Feeling nice and buzzed. I'm a friend you just telling us about that squid face back there. Yeah. Goliath starts to grit his teeth again in response, and he's like, oh man, this guy's just shit-faced, he's not gonna remember, so he, uh, discreetly steps behind the bar, <laughs> as if to, uh, do some barback duties. That's it, nothing else. I'll just keep drinking. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, how about Connie? Checking out the, uh, the Golden Die Six. She may not be able to respond on Discord. Is she able to hear us, at least? I hope she jumped out, so I'm guessing so. Can you hear me now? Hallelujah! So apparently I just need to log out and back in again every time I need to speak. I think okay. so. <laughs> so, Connie's been looking at the D6. She's really interested in the marking. She's gone all the way around it and, and checked out every face. Um, has she noticed anything... <laughs> Um, that might give us any clues. It, does this look like a just a piece of scenery, basically, or is it something that is a bit more interesting than that? It is uh, definitely artistic. Uh, roll a nature check. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, aside from large monster with claws, you're still kind of like, I don't know what might have done this. Uh, try a Arcana check. Well, that's better. better. And remember, you do have the hero points and the uh, inspirations as part of the tier two sub. So uh, if you wanted to uh, spend that on the nature check or save those for later on, either way, your choice. Uh, yeah, let's use a hero point. I think I have a, a couple. Yep, yep. That would be a die six added on to the nine that you rolled there for nature. Uh, 
A 12. All right. Well, that does change it from large monster to, I'm pretty sure this was some kind of dragon that cool. made these markings. And the Arcana check, and now that you're looking at it and kind of uh, going through your head more with information that you've gone through uh, in the past, this uh, would appear to be some kind of uh, cosmic cube prison device you would gather. Sorry, uh, prison. Correct. And the more you look at it, the more convinced you are that the Mind Flayer likely has a permanent attunement with this device in particular, so that if anybody acts up in his casino in a way that he disagrees with, he can just have them sucked into the cube, which from that point, who knows what happens to them. Holy. Okay. <laughs> right, so... Uh, Connie, bless her, has every intention of telling the rest of the, the party about this. Uh, but she hears a really fun clickety-clackety sound and uh, gets drawn over to the roulette table just over here. And, oh, uh, boy. Thinks, what can it hurt to maybe play a little game before she goes and finds everyone to remind them not to be too uh, unruly in here? <laughs> Why not? Uh, you can... Either drag your token onto the board repeatedly, or you can just use the drawing tool on the left side marker and just kind of like put little X's over which sections of the board you wish to vote. And then this is done entirely through a random dice roll, a die 36, in fact. And despite what the roulette wheel shows, there is a zero and a double zero. Just use these two sides of it to represent. Okay, and uh, or die much like, I should say. Much like Connie, I've never played roulette before, so uh, Connie is just literally gonna scatter gun the whole board. So uh, we like this one, and we like <laughs> this one. We like this one. We like this one. Uh, we like this one. Ooh, number seven, uh, and we like. Th she kind of looks up, kind of like. Is that right? And then wait. All right. I had this all saved because this is the one I am least familiar with, but it seemed pretty straightforward. Thank you, Venetian. All right. So the single straight bet, uh, they will accept anything from a single gold piece up to uh, 100 gold pieces per wager. So you've basically put... Uh, are you doing the zero or the double zero? Uh, I'm doing the zero. Okay. So that's four, five, six. Uh, looks like seven different individual numbers that you've bet. So you can bet anywhere between one and 100 gold per pull. If either of those come up, it's a 35 to one payout. So am I, am I betting a gold piece per number that I've circled then? Is that how it works? Correct, at, at minimum. Or you could bet 100 gold pieces. Oh, per... okay. No, let's go one. <laughs> and I tell you what we'll do. So knowing this, Connie goes, oh, okay. And she chooses two more numbers. Okay. Which I think then makes it 10. It uh, looks like it, zero. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, there we go. So one gold piece on each of those? One gold piece on each, yeah. All right. Well, the fate... Uh is uh, in your hands with the uh, the dice games as opposed to drawing the cards. I have no control over that. Uh, roll one, die 38. A 28. Hey, look at that. Connie the looks at the, the crew pin and says, is that good? Yes, indeed. And uh, they collect your... Uh, winnings and replace this one with 35 gold and of course leaving the one that you have on there so you lose nine but then you gain 35. Connie gets very excited and uh, says this time can I bet on a color? Of course. We'll just remove all of those. New bets. And she's going to bet on black this time with 10 gold. 
All right, even money. So in this case, we're just gonna flip a coin. Roll one die two. One is red, two is black. And it is, so you bet 10, you get 10. Connie's very excited about this. <laughs> and uh, she decides at this point that she needs to now go and find the rest of the party, tell them about the cube, but also tell them that she's really good at the clicky clacky game. And uh, that's the end of her turn. Well, all right. The clicky clacky game. Uh, from now on, every time I see you roulette, it's going to be a clicky clacky game. <laughs> clicky clacky game. Instead of so she'll just head 12. towards whoever's closest, basically. Um, which I think is... Who is closest to me? Uh, probably Dr. Whoopass. Uh, maybe? Kind of looks like it, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go head over here, and then I'm going to tell him about the... Uh, the cube. Yep, that's me done after I tell Wapass about the cube. Alrighty. So, Zyfax, Cyrano, are we also bringing the henchmen? Uh, yeah, he normally goes where I go. Okay. Just uh, for specification, we told the uh, the nobles that uh, Zyfax was bringing one person to meet the Illithid with him. Oh, then I guess not. Then yeah. Same no, question was... for uh, Zyfax. Uh oh, did we lose Steven as well? We can keep our two henchmen together then, I guess. Can you guys hear me? There he is. Uh, yeah, Varys will stay behind. Alrighty. Uh, do they want to do anything in particular while uh, you guys are going to speak with uh, Shival? I've, I'll go ahead and give Varys... Uh, let me see how much gold I have left after doing that. I'll give him a thousand and tell him to go have fun. Damn. Go buy yourself something nice. Yeah, basically. Uh, Elias has a new find familiar spell, so I guess he's going to try casting it and call down a familiar. Oh, damn. In the middle of the casino, or are you going outside? Oh, why? Is is there not a, is that a problem? Uh, I mean, some people in here seem to have animals with them. Just uh, just curious is all. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I was going to do it right there. All righty. Uh, what is that? A one hour casting time? Ten minutes? I forget exactly. I think it's... I think it's 10. 10 it's minutes? It's like a ritual spell. It's gotcha, like a ritual gotcha. spell. All right. Uh, so you're both doing that. Uh, -da -da -ba -ba -ba. And uh, let's just see how this resolves. Daniel, could you give me a, a, a recall of what our mission is parameter so I know how to roleplay this? We're trying to find the location of the donjon. The Why? Coordinates. Who is that? The, and... the donjon is a prison that is connected to the deck of many things. Ah. Uh, it might not be the exact same place, but it possibly could be. But our superiors want to know exactly where it's at because maybe they want to go rescue people from it. Or if anyone ever gets pulled to it, they know where it's at for later purposes. Uh, it's somewhere in the astral plane, and uh, Jival over there should hopefully be able to give us the information we need somehow. Well, apparently, according to information, he knows where it's at. Correct. So we are to extract the information, hopefully without violence, but we could use bribery or other means. Diplomacy. To, diplomacy to, uh, to find the location that was. Okay, I was really going to try and hang back from role-playing today because it really hurts to talk, but I'll do my best. Just use your normal voice. Just say, just say, use your normal voice and uh, pray. Yeah, got it. Okie dokie. So, uh, Shival kind of glances over at the nobles who are approaching. And at the same time, whatever interaction is happening between the Illithid and uh, 
this fey in front of him. It does not appear to end amicably. Uh, there's no outward violence, but there is a definite disappointment in this one's energy. And as Cheval kind of looks around at the nobles approaching, so too does he give a glimpse over in our famous Ravenloft Vampires location. And the Count steps forward slightly into the uh, casino lights. Whereupon he gently puts an arm around the elf, and the two of them just kind of fade back into the shadows here. Perhaps a little bit too literally, as uh, somebody cast an invisibility spell. Seeing this, our noble friends continue to approach the illithid making all sorts of humble gesticulations and offers of uh, friendship you see a couple of greased palms exchange and after which our illithid friend gives a distinct glare over at Zyfax and Cyrano and roll a wisdom save, the two of you. You feel Lord magic knows. touching your brain. Oh, I wonder what spell he's casting on us. I'm guessing <laughs> it's the tech ball. Wisdom save. Wisdom save. Hold on, I'm also checking something. Wait, you. See if I I'm making sure. <laughs> uh... uh no, it's only saving throws against being charmed and magic kit. It's only advantage on that, so I guess it's just straight roll. Alrighty, well, Cyrano is able to put a shield up against his this intrusive presence trying to bear down upon him. Uh, Zyfax, however, is a uh, seemingly a completely open book as you just feel dirty, slimy tentacles writhing through your brain searching I use hero for point, right? every secret. You can use a hero point. How much is what's it? D8? Uh, in whatever. your case, a D8. Yeah. Oh, a 19 on the money. So uh, you begin to feel such tendrils pressing through your mind, and at the last moment you are able to put up your mental defenses. And uh, it appears that you have angered the Mind Flayer before you've even properly met him. He almost gives a, uh, almost like a, <laughs> in response... <laughs> Uh, nevertheless, the nobles who you have aligned yourselves with uh, kind of look over in your direction and just give you a head nod like, uh, yeah, uh, come on over. Come on over, guys. All right, Cyrano, let's go. All right, let's stay forward. Yeah, would they part for us? And will we get closer to them a lot? Oh, for sure. I guess we're getting that close. All right. As you approach closer, this one also presents herself into your psyche in a slightly different way. This one is a charisma saving throw. Is it against being charmed? Uh, it is not a charm. Damn it. It's going to come in advantage one day. You said charisma? Yes. Oh, my charisma's worse than my wisdom. I'm lucky wisdom and charisma are my two saving throw proficiencies. <laughs> they just All happen right. to be the two strongest ones I've got. There we go. Nice. 
both uh both of you are successful as well whatever she is attempting is unsuccessful are we aware of what was tried to done be done to us uh roll arcana oh i'm actually good at that i want to roll too All right. Yeah, whatever Woo! it was was very, very powerful magic. Some good rolls. Yes, indeed. Uh, definitely a uh, a mind breaching spell. Uh, possibly even a dominate person. Oh damn! That is. That's that's harsh stuff. I don't know how I feel about that. That's a little. <laughs> that's a little. That's a little mean for someone wanting for someone just wanting some information. It's, <laughs> it's almost like they're trying to be villainous. Yeah. Yeah. Great. You have bought your way into an audience with the great Shival. You will tell me what it is. This interruption is for. We are looking for the Don Juan. Oh man, we sent both the Spanish guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, something tells me we're going to have a uh, uh, a failure in translation here. <laughs> we are looking for the Don John. Don John, whatever. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Zyphex Dr. Kaiser the Third. The the man next to me is Cyril. Cyril takes off his hat and bows. Roll I also give. <clears throat> I also give a, a small bow as well. Okay. I don't know. Sorry, Likewise. Danny, you were got cut off. Did you say roll persuasion? Yes, sir. We gotta Both be persuasive with our bowels. God damn it. Well, uh, Cyrano persuades as best as he is able, and Zyphax trips over Cyrano's cape and causes a domino effect that connects no, from. No, 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 fuck this. This dude uh, it's, to this lady it's, it's, to this dude it's, it's, who it's, falls it's, over the roulette it's, it's, table. He's so heavy, the roulette table upends I'll and flings chips everywhere. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's not necessary. <laughs> Unless you really want to okay. go above and beyond in being persuasive. You're not a complete fucking idiot. No, no. <laughs> I just found it funny. <laughs> These guys are casting high level, like decent level spells at us just to, just to like try to figure out our mind. I'm trying not to break any eggs. Right of now. course, of course. So uh, our mind flare uh, just kind of pulses with uh, what feels like uh, charged necrotic energy, almost like he's just waiting for somebody to shoot. You come into my home, my establishment, and you ask me for one of the deepest secrets in the galaxy. Just who do you think you are? We didn't mean any disrespect. information that you have could be either as a man of your a man of your wealth still needs wealth so if it's information that we could use that could be bought or earned through favor we would be apt we would be amicable to those agreements as well so you are not entirely without class and brave you do not simply ask a favor. You propose an exchange. Sounds fair. And just what do you exchange for such powerful information? Perhaps our group could be of service to you one day. Or, have you heard of the Kaiser Trading Company? <laughs> but of course. 
You're looking at one of the assets of the company. We could move objects for you if needed. Probably discreetly, however, what, however much items you're needing moved, discreet as needed. I could possibly call in some favors with my family. He mulls it over for a moment. But what you offer me, I already have. If I have need of your service, believe me, you do not need to agree for me to have it. And for one who is heir to a company, you know little of who you are currently in dealings with, it would seem. Could I make an insight check to see what the hell? Roll it, what baby! Inside, is this guy bullshit? Where is it? Oh, great, my inside sucks. Yeah, I mean, your first inclination is that you believe what he's saying. Okay. Uh, so now you're more persuasive, start persuading. We're just trying to see if maybe we could make, maybe you could make, we could become friends. As you can see that we have, we are quite a capable group. We're not just some ragtag group of mercenaries. And if there's something that we could both mutually benefit from, that's our offer on the table. I like the premise. What we seem to have a current impasse on are the specifics of the negotiation. Well, I prefer something that... more tangible and present. Not ambiguous promises of a future service. Well then, is there anything that we could be of service of you at this moment to prove that we mean business. <laughs> so he wants something. But this is be out of game. He wants something tangible, so is he just like these other nobles and just wants money to prove that? Huh. Uh, I think, I think Daniel's insight. deciding that now. Yeah. Try an insight. Oh, goodness. I can he help? Could we say Cyrano help me with that insight check by talking and me listening to how he was responding? Sure. Give me. Yeah, so the 20 for insight. In general, I mean, this guy runs a casino, so money is probably a fair assumption for what he will accept. It's just a, a question of how much. And in that respect, uh, you probably don't want to start low because you may insult him to a, a very dangerous level. Yeah, well... I think we can assume the only cool if we needed to, guys, for this. Yeah, so I would ask him, what would be a, a fair asking price to the location that we would seek? Mm. Raw materials you offer. I am familiar and can work with this exchange. As an aside, if you find yourself lacking funds... I am particularly fond of fresh, if not even still living, brains. Many of them. As far as so price, 50,000. Be... 50,000 50, gold? Yes. Um, 
did I see where Boom can win? <laughs> uh, there's a fireball over in the blackjack area. You think she might be over there? I knew you were cheating. You dealt the cards in the wrong order, you fucker. <laughs> So, will we be allowed to go speak with our other cohorts, our other allies in the casino, companions, to possibly get the funds together or see if we could find you brains, apparently? Yes. I will require 50 brains. Or 50,000 coins. Gold coins. Do not return to me until you have either in your possession. That's it? Thank you very 50, much. 50,000 gold or 50 brains? Wow. I thought we could just do a job for him and then that would be it. <laughs> well, the job is 50 brains. <laughs> Man wants yeah, that's, yeah, that's the job. He wants 50 people so he can go slurp slurp. Where the hell are we going to get 50 brains? Slave markets. Oh, God. Anybody got the clone I move spell? Away. <laughs> I'll just clone myself 50 times. <laughs> Here, dude, just go to town. Are we yeah, uh, I'm, I'm briefing? Um, uh, one yeah, second we there. Can... Uh, so Zyfax's turn is over here, uh, Cyrano as well, and, uh, yeah, as we, uh, continue on with Viesa, let's, uh, have her be the last little bit here before we go to our halftime break. So Viesa's gonna just kinda try to, she's gonna try to look at the two henchmen politely and be like, Pardon me, mind the edge, as she walks past them to go to the <laughs> other area that's theater of the mind. And she's going to look for the elf she's supposed to know what it looks like there. All right. We have uh, other table games and showrooms, and additionally the, uh, the showroom where the current performance is taking place out here is also in that area. There is also a third theater of the mind area up here these stairs, uh, it's pretty much all restaurants and more bars and clubs. Oh, goodness. There are a lot more people on this side of the casino than the previous one. Uh, you don't see anybody that fits the bill? Not to say that they're not here, but there's just a lot of people and you're not even certain that you uh, took the time to give everybody a fair glimpse. She's going to stay up in this area. I don't know if there's anything else I could roll, but I'm gonna, she's going to keep looking around, see if she can find anyone that looks similar. Okay. Go ahead, give it a second roll. Considerably better. And uh, after spending a good 15, 20 minutes over here, you're pretty positive. Yeah, there's nobody that fits the bill. Okay, she'll make her way back to the main room again and just kind of be by the stairs for the time being. Okie dokie. And with that, we will send it to our 10, 15 minute halftime break here. And we will catch you on the other side, friends. Chilling in the Illithid Casino and possibly more beyond. My family's in dark shit. I mean, it's grim, isn't it, really? <laughs> well, literally, it's like they're having dealings with this guy. He's like, yeah, give me 50k or uh, 50 brains. I mean, I wonder if we could split the difference. Can we do like 25 brains and 25k? <laughs> like, what's his I'm negotiation? Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure at this point it's one or the other. It's how he, is how he worded it. Like 50 brains is a meal, anything less is an entree. <laughs> yeah, you know, you gotta have the late night snacks also. So it's like he eats 40 brains and then he has the late night snack of 10. Yeah, it's like you always have room for the last 10 brains because of the dessert stomach, right? Yeah, so. 
I wonder if we can call judicial and tell them, hey, give us 50k so we can get this information you fucking want. I mean, that's a good shout, to be fair. <laughs> or if we call down uh, our shopping you, assistant you. and be like, have you got 50 brains? <laughs> I really doubt Meridian carries that type of stuff on him. Hey, do you have like 50 brains? Preferably recently God. dead. Nice fresh brain. Yeah. So I think the cheap, honestly, if like the cheapest option is like, oh, we have to figure this out, is going to be find a slave market and buy 50 people. I mean, it's a good shout about calling back to the ship though, because uh, it was their mission that they want us to go on. So if there are backers, then maybe. Yeah, they're the one wanting the information, but I, it's like, he will accept two payment options. Okay, tell us what those payment options are. $50,000. 50000 k in gold. Oh, um, what's the other option? 50 alive people that are going to be eaten, that are going to have their brains eaten out by him. Yeah. And they just talk communication. Oh, right yes, there. just ignoring all of it, and she's just off doing her own thing. I to love be that. fair for be fair, for all we know, Meridian may, may very well have brains in stock. Maybe it's like maybe it's like ordering a secret menu item. Like you gotta like how you order the meat now at Arby's. You just gotta ask him like real quietly and off into the car and be like, "Hey man, you got any head yet?" Don't ask why, but you have any brains? I'll take the head noodles. <laughs> I still think that we got our yeah, and we're our best chances the judicial because here's the thing I will say as of right now my character you take away a thousand already uh, only has 5,025 gold to his name and 62 platinum pieces so about 6,000 gold altogether I'm saving a thousand because I placed a, a bet on the game with our D&D money <laughs> I wonder how many people died after the invasion of the plant creatures on the judicial. Like, I wonder if there are some fresh brains no. chilling in the morgue. I think they turned the into plant. cactuses. Yeah, they turned into those cactus things, so they're completely changed. Damn. So it's well, it's also think about think about it this way. Don't think about the things you kill too much because then you realize that all those plant creatures we fought were once human. It's very true. Which means they were innocents and we killed a bunch of innocents already, so my my hands are already stained with blood. Wah wah. <laughs> yeah, wah wah. Yeah. No, they're, technically, they're stained in cactus juice. They were people before they became cactuses. Yeah, but I'm saying they're not, since they're not humans anymore, technically, you stained, you stained your hands in cactus juice. <laughs> Maybe red cactus juice, I don't know. Maybe it was aloe. Maybe you've got great skin now. Zyphax has always had great skin, all right? <laughs> he is, I will doubt this up. Zyphax is a noble. And if anyone was listening, yes, his family does run a trading company that apparently deals with this fucking skin. That was very interesting was information. Back. I liked that. It was a good bit of plot. Yeah, and now I'm going to wonder about this shit. Like, what the fuck is my family getting into with this bullshit? I mean, I don't suppose they trade in human brains, do they? <laughs> no, we don't. Well, you don't think well you do. I don't think they would. They do. I know that they were, they were... I'll explain. I can explain it in the story later, but they were moving into a different trading trade running trading to for a different item that is possibly more expensive that makes more money but it's also more dangerous at the same time. Fair enough. Uh, just while we're off game yeah. guys, I uh, missed this earlier. So I don't think I lost all sound again. Um did anyone hear what da Daniel said about my um magpie? I don't think he I said that. Different. Yeah, he said that you and him would figure it out later after you got your sound back. Awesome, thank you. 
I just had an idea. Tell, tell. Well, we could find a long way around it without having to sacrifice any people or pay him 50k. But it would mean traveling to the location of my hometown, finding out how he has contracts with the company, and since he's the type of person that needs to have his stuff on the move, if his contract is illegal or not benefiting our company at all, I can convince him to give us the information or he can find some other contractors to move his merchandise for him. Okay. That sounds sketch. It sounds very much like bribery, which could well piss him off if it doesn't work. And that's we a don't lot. want to anger the dude. Oh. We just want to kill him in the street. How's that? We can't kill him. We need the information from him. No, no, no. 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 Everyone Everyone else. Else. Free. Just take out the casino. Does that ask, does that ask him, do you like this noble? If no, then off the head it goes. We, no, he wants them to be, he prefers them to be alive. It's how they feed, then they we feed can on just, brain, make it more Then we can just off. section off, like, we can just section off the one part of the casino and say, hey, there's your 50 brains, go at it. He's so, <laughs> taking to his life then, have your pick. I'm guessing he doesn't want it in his place of business. Like, he wants a more discreet amount of brain somewhere else, maybe. Yeah, I say contact judicial because we could hobble together probably 50k between us with having to sacrifice lives, but I doubt the job is going to pay us $50,000. Unless we right. talk to unless we can talk to the judicial and say, hey, any expenses we have so that we have getting this information, will you pay us back for it if they say yes? So far, I spent $7,000. 7000 well, if I put in my five along, if I put in all my gold plus the 2,000 I spent getting the meeting, I get 7,000 back. Yeah, I mean, even if you forget the money, it's um, it's going to be tight anyway, isn't it? Just the rest of us trying to scramble together that much money. Unless Scary wants to be make a charitable donation. She was bragging, oh, I have 60,000 to burn. She's just. She already uh, said she didn't want to spend 50k on information. Well, that's why we hobble together. Like everyone puts in. Like, okay, yeah, so yeah, I we... said I have to. Who's the stealthiest? Just like yes. off room king right, when she's not knowing. Oh, although if you're watching the Twitch chat, she's just uh, redeemed, discover, gift a very rare or magical item. So that could come in handy. Wait, what dying character are we stabilizing? No, I think that's just banked. No, she uh, won 10k bizarre bucks, which Dan can't give us on Twitch, so she's put it on it as a thing to spend. Okay, so what I is love that you can hear <laughs> Sorry. What's our uh, line of communication back to the judicial? Also, uh, we could do with some sort of um, almost like a walkie talkie system between the lot of us would be really handy. I wonder if there's well, uh, Yeah, no, we, we do have that type of walkie talkie system on us already. Do we? Oh, sorry, guys, I've missed that. Can you fill me in? Yeah, I was asking Dan about that, like if we had a, a telepathic, like, no, but you guys have general basic communication between each other with uh, some type of electronic thing, I'm guessing. Oh, cool. Okay, so in that case then, let's just assume that what I found about about the cube, everyone knows already. Um, 
Okay, so we do have that kind of communication. That's really good to know. Thank you. Yeah, which I guess means everybody now knows that I'm heir to a rich mate, which I'm heir to a trading company. I would assume so, yeah. We're back live. Proceed as you've been. Sounds, it sounds to, from what I'm guessing here, it sounds to me like it's time for Tiefling Massacre 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> I'm stood next to Dr. Whoopers and I give him like a really swift jab on the shoulder. Oh. Like, not now. What part aren't you guys getting? He wants Come them on, to be I'm alive. I'm saying that in character. Come on. He wants them to be alive. <laughs> so, uh, not Sarah, dead. are we playing Blackjack? <laughs> yes. All right, so let's do this uh, correct this time. Uh, if I understood correct, it's player, then dealer, then player, then dealer, or it's all player and all dealer. People are on top of it here in the chat, so I don't think it will take too long for us to get a response. Oh, everybody else probably went off on break, too. All player, then all dealer. All right. So you get two. Flip it open. Flip it close. This won't work. I'm not 6-1. Uh-huh. Okay. So you got yourself a 10, and I've got a 10 showing. Then I will take another card. I'll stay. Oh, look at you with 20. I will stick. All right, we tied. Bust. Which means you didn't lose. You kept your original, you kept your original bet. Correct, Amundo. Is how I understand it. It's a draw. It's like, oh, what was that movie? Bad. Remember that movie, Bad News Bears? <laughs> well, Bob no. You know, with <laughs> us, a tie isn't too bad. With how we've been doing, it's like having to kiss your sister. But in our case, it's like kissing your really hot stepsister. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. Nope. Well, you've got a uh, 13. Hey. Um, the way it works is that uh, let's say you have three players. It's one, then player two, then player three, then dealer, then player one, player two, player three, then dealer. That's, or, yeah. And then um, ties are uh, a push. And yes. Um, yes. Anything else? Uh, no, that's everything. Uh, just got a different word differently worded answer to the question i asked that's why i asked is it all is it players then dealer or is it all players and then all dealer i.e do i deal player than dealer player than dealer or do i deal player 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 dealer 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 that's what i was asking oh okay well if you have more than one player then it's you know one player one player one player dealer one player one player one player dealer right if you have one on one it's player dealer player dealer all right so uh, thank you. My pleasure. Yes, indeed. Yeah, tie is a push. We did, uh, I think we did that part right. So, where are we here now? All right. Yes. Oh, and if you're playing real Vegas rules, the players are never allowed to win. Well, so yeah, far, we figured. so far I've been doing it right. There you go. Good job. All right, I don't know if we were in the middle of the game or if we had finished that one already, but uh, hopefully that didn't uh, confuselate me too much there. Uh, you've got an 11. What are you looking at? Hit me. All right. Hit me again. Very good, good, good. Reshuffle. Another one? Yeah. Let's 
16 to my 3. Well, you're 3 plus something. Um, oh, it's a blank card. Hit me. <laughs> 16 and... Arg, 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 arg. To change the faces of the card. <laughs> Shuffle, one more go. Another sixteen to start. I where'd your other card go? <laughs> I have to take it into my hand so I can see what it is. Oh, okay. And then I put it back down. Hmm, if you say so. You can see it appear above Roleplay and Unlimited. And then it disappears okay. when I put it back down. I know. Um, I'm going to stick. All right. Uh, now I forgot what I had, damn it. Uh, let me take that card back. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to Can we take the card back and change it? Yeah, if I could be that quick. You'll have to run a Roll20 game to see how impossible that would be. Alright, so I have... Uh, and there it is! 21. Of course. Alright, back to the casino proper. And over to Whipass. Okay, so Connie, t so Connie told me that there's like this cube thing that has like souls or whatever inside of it, right? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Uh, Doctor Whoopaz doesn't know yet about the deal that has been made. So taking that into account. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to walk my way close to him while activating my visage of the astral self. Who is him? Zaval. Oh, damn. I'm just going oh, go, to go like, I'm not going to go right up to him. I want to be like kind of subtle about this. I'm going to just go Right over here. And then I'm going to use my visage of the astral self to ba my wisdom my wisdom of spirit, I believe it is. Yeah, so I can so I can direct my words to a creature of my choice that I can see within 60 feet of me, making it so that only the creature can hear me. Okay. As you approach and uh this also uh, spawns the extra arms, correct? Uh, or is that a different part of it? Different part of it. Uh, I can summon my, I can summon the visage in addition to the arms, or I can just summon them separate. So I'm just summoning the visage. The, the gotcha. Hands. Okay. At this point, Connie is just head in hands. Like I just told you not to piss him off. Um, okay, I'm going to perhaps, I'm going to, let's see, what can, what can I say to this guy now that won't piss him off? Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Clankton, I don't know, I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> I've always been very attracted to Mind Flayers, is probably a good way to start, or the worst way to start. <laughs> Um, oh, Jesus, okay. So... He feels his character already deleted at the wrong words. 
The uh, green-haired dude next to you, as well as the uh, giant mustachioed fellow, both eye you with great interest, and the uh, green fellow is like, Something I can do for you, mate! Okay, I'm going to, like, uh, let's see. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, absentmindedly try and, like, like, I'm gonna point to one of the, the squared numbers, red or black, I don't care, and then I'm gonna just place, like, a hundred gold on the table, and while I'm, like, absentmindedly, and while I do that, so I don't look suspicious, while I do that, I'm gonna, like, try and, like, say, I'm gonna say something like, um, like, is there perhaps... Is there perhaps something that can be done to convince you to, to, to give us to give us to give me and my friends information about the dungeon? Well, uh, isn't, well, that would be that would be much beneficial to you in a in a way that would seem attainable. Well, if you're trying to use intimidation, you have advantage on it. Otherwise, try a persuasion check without said advantage. All right. Well, in that case, if I if I can do intimidation, let me just try, let, let me try and reword this to make it sound more intimidating. To make it actually sound intimidating. Okay. If there is perhaps if there is perhaps a way, oh god if there is perhaps a way we can we can get the information without resort. Without, without resorting to violence, that would be greatly appreciated. As so we, intimi as I do so not intimidating. Wish, as I do not wish to get my hands dirty. That's some nice intimidation. I like <laughs> it. Subtle. Alright, roll the intimidation. Uh, at least you have advantage. What the fuck? Oh no! At least he has advantage. <laughs> Can I also use my bardic inspiration, please? I'm on the other side You're of the room. You're gonna burn the uh, the die twelve here. You got the uh, the greatest song in the world. Oh no, this is just a tribute stuck in your head. Hopefully, a twelve is uh, a nine, not too shabby. That's a twenty-four. Please, for the love of God, do not let me die. I suppose if I had, I suppose if I had, if I didn't have advantage, then I probably would have died. Put that now on. <laughs> oh God. Connie, Connie is just staring, mouth open, as if to say, like, what on earth is happening? <laughs> well, she can't. Well, she can't hear what I just said. Uh, uh, only, Z only Zy only Zaval can. No, but she can probably see the way that he's staring at you now. <laughs> well, and, I mean, does uh... Zaval even? Does Zaval know? I, thinking about it, does Zaval even understand that I'm the one talking, or does he just like hear a voice in his head, like, "Where the fuck is that coming from?" Oh, good point. You're about to get a high level spell cast straight your way. Well, he definitely say. knows it's you because by the uh, specs of what you just put up, it's made so that only that creature can hear you. Unless you do. But he's know. never heard him talk before. Yeah, I will, yeah, I haven't even introduced myself to Zyfax properly yet. Zaval Z Z properly yet. I'm, I'm combining Zyval with with Zyfax. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I told you when you were down before. <laughs> I'm not doing so good. With I'm gonna that. go with a uh, successful perception check, and uh, yeah, he knows uh, he knows who he's talking to. Bad. Sorry. Um, what was I doing? All right. He's looking at his high-level spells. Oh, yes, I needed to drag something out. That's the wrong verbiage. Is I is Ivo just going to fucking call in a bodyguard to just come throw me out? <laughs> or you're about to get sucked into a cube. He just summons a freaking brain goal or something and just waltzes over, picks me up by the head, and just shuts me out. <laughs> like the like the the guy that always gets thrown out on Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Just <laughs> you leave DJ uh, Zach, uh, What was it? Zaz? Jazzy? DJ yeah. Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> You leave DJ Dadgy Jeff out of this, man. He was a he was a comedic genius every time we got through out of that damn door. 
you know, fun fa- sorry, sorry, fun fact about that scene, by the way. They actually reuse that same scene every single time he gets thrown out because he had to retake it so many times that he got bruised to beat the hell from how many times he got thrown out. So that's why he always wears the exact same outfit whenever that scene plays. That's good knowledge, I like that. Speak to powers you do not comprehend. I am quite familiar with powers like yours, actually. You'd be surprised. Then you know you are seconds from death. Given the crimes I've committed, death may be an embrace. (laughs) Whoa, that was a badass answer. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, great. Gave me hill. His tentacles begin writhing. The energy begins to pulse from his body. And he seems almost to be daring you to try something. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and fortify the bluff. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna whip out the arms of the ast- I'm gonna whip out the arms of the astral self, and then at the same t- and then once I do that, I'm gonna whip out the body of the astral self to whip out the full armor, and just and just make it do like the the come at me bro thing. And when I do the arms, I'm not gonna like let I can control whether it actually hurts people, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it hurt anybody. Can Boom can also, uh, sorry, can Connie also cast like Thaumaturgy to make some like fun effects around Dr. Whoopers when he does this, just to try and really drive home the intimidation? Intimidate him by tell him, telling him death is but a warm embrace. <laughs> <laughs> and Cheval is saying, What do we it's say to the god of death? Not today. Not today. <laughs> Can I cast banishment on the do- on the doctor and send him away for a little bit to calm everything down? <laughs> you just see Doctor Wolf summon his ghost arms, and the ghost Where... arms just start cracking their knuckles. Where is Connie? She's near. I think I might she's... Be... She's, she's near Zyphax. She's not sparkler thing. Oh, there she is. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. Yeah, she's near Zyphax. So oh, the answer is yes. If uh, you want to get involved in this, then uh, you uh, feel free to do so. Oh. <laughs> I'm yeah, not getting involved. Not? Okay. I'm going to just make some, like, just a few gentle tremors through the ground, but I'm also going to look in the opposite direction whilst I do it. can try a deception check in conjunction with that. I just now picture it being like like the scene from Mega Mind where Metro where like the, the disguised Metro Man just shows up in front of the villain and he like flexes his ass cheeks and the guy's just like, oh god. Connie's now doing the equivalent of like looking away and going. All right, uh, go ahead and try the uh, intimidation there again, and uh, also after you roll that mark, roll a one die two. Oh my gosh! It just gets worse. <laughs> it's it's yeah, we're back at character made mark because so you might need natural ones. Alrighty, so uh, Whoopass, as part of the uh, initial explanation, said that he uh, put some change down on uh, red or black. In this case, he dropped it on black. And uh, to uh, quote Alkaline Trio, I put it all on black. Yeah! yeah. And then uh, number two is uh, indeed what comes up. (laughs) And uh, right about the same time that the... uh, the roulette operator declares winner 
Uh, Cheval unfortunately drops this on Dr. Whoopass. Oh, fuck. Oh. Uh oh. I win and then I lose horribly. I. I. Do I have it? God damn. So I guess. I guess Dr. Whoopass. At least he went out in a somewhat blaze of glory. He's like, he's like, one of the roulette table while looking badass and sounding badass too. And then he just fucking drops dead. Oof. I guess I'll have to work on making a new character now. I do have an idea, but, uh, yeah, you get to give me a minute. Yeah, unless, uh, you happen to have enough coinage in your inventory that the group could use to, uh, fund your resurrection with the ship's doctor, or if, uh, the group chooses to fund such a resurrection themselves. But, uh, in the uh, meantime, while we, uh, uh, a few jaws gape open in, uh, excitement and horror to that uh the two guys that are standing at the same table almost look a little disappointed at the uh ensuing results but uh mr green here does uh back off as does uh mean mr mustache uh the giant uh human right here dressed in the noble clothes just kind of uh, half tilts an eye over at uh, cheval smiles and continues placing bets at the roulette table Wow. So, uh, I think, uh, what's, uh... What how, much does resurrect, how much does resurrection cost like the doctor on me? Uh, the ship's doctor will charge 10000 Did he have that much in his inventory? Well, he just I won 1000 <laughs> Does anyone like have a diamond I with 300 gold pieces? I got five. I got five thousand nine hundred seventy-five gold. Yeah, I mean, if anybody no, has the revivify spell, that's. Uh, I do, but I don't have a diamond. Actually, minus a hundred because I just spent it on the roulettes. Yeah, I mean the uh, pause play here would be call in Meridian, buy Does the Meridian diamond, have a and diamond? then do it. <laughs> oh, Meridian's got stuff like that. Absolutely. Can we? Can we do that? Can we? And that's uh, with a P3 call him in. That's up to Steven, Diego, or and or Sarah. We got three T threes in this party. Here's, here's the question. Is, is it smart? Here's here's my here's my point. I'm going to make real quick. Is it smart to call in Meridian to get a diamond to revivify the guy that just got killed for trying to upstage this guy? This I is mean, a ball. No. Not like obviously in front of everyone. But... No, we would pull him, we'd drag him away and then bring him back to life somewhere in the <laughs> shadowy in a corner, I guess. Or does this Can we just send his body back to the ship and then just <laughs> heal him there? Well, if I, if, I, if I have to make a new character, I can try and whip one up real quick and just have him show up as like backup from the ship or whatever, maybe. Or oh, of I course. Say, I don't know. Oh, but we lose you at whatever level you are, and we gain a character that's nowhere near as adept. He'll still yeah, be a level. Are... He'll still be the same level uh, character as uh, what Bass was, just a different character. Oh, okay. Oh, fair. Oh, oh, so, okay. So he'd be because I know I know he bought levels for his characters. So he get all his levels. Well, I think he, he drew characters. the sun card. So I think yeah, he's I like level 10. Use. I think he's, he'd be coming in with a higher level well, character anyway. At 11, I gained one level uh, after that. Yeah. This thing, I think. So even well, higher. does that mean? Was that mean? Would that mean that his new character would be eleven, or that his oh, yeah. new character would be? Oh, well. Oh, well, then I think why don't we just leave it to, to like, Mark? Yeah. What he wants to do. Oh yeah, earned well, XP. He... I never take away if a character dies because that's kind of a, a stab enough just to lose the character. So the XP progression continues, but everything else, new equipment, new gold, you have to kind of start from ground zero with that stuff. Well, what do you want to do, um, Mark? Do you want us to bring you back to life or not? I'll make a new character. I have an idea for a character I can play as. One of my personal favorites, actually. But um, I, I can't seem to make a new character sheet. Do I just edit Whoopass's character sheet, I guess? Uh, at the very top, there should be that plus character button. And then the yeah, character click, sheet. 
Oh, it's not working? It. Correct. All right, let me just put one here for you real quick. That's been happening the last couple games, so that's unfortunate. We had a nice uh, quality of life upgrade there for a while. Okay, so at the very top of the journal, uh, Odwa Igudroak. That is your new character. Of course, feel free to rename and respec as you like. That's just the uh, pre gen name, of course. I've never seen a character die from role playing before. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty intense. Uh, the uh, the winnings are two hundred gold. I mean, he put a hundred down on black. He won a hundred off of it. So there's two hundred gold sitting there that. Uh, uh, by the uh, the rules of the casino, the uh, the dealer immediately <laughs> moves to scoop in, as uh, Cheval and his very interesting companion go and flank the carcass. Hey, so didn't we weren't even like, really able to look at the body at all. Mark, did, didn't you have like magical items and stuff? Like, didn't you have like? Get a bell. Oh yeah. Didn't you have a belt of giant strength? I'm gonna go and get that. I would oh, loot yeah. the body next we're to gonna, the wall. We're gonna it. loot the carcass. <laughs> What's what belt did you have there, Mark? Frost frost giant strength. Okay. Are you in fact it. are you in fact moving in on the body while the illithid is standing there over the body? Because he just moved in on it too. Uh, I guess I'm going to try and tell him that he was our friend. <laughs> that was our friend. And that we're gonna say, hey. right? I guess we're going to ask, I'm going to ask the Elifid if we can um, bury or dispose of our friend's body. I would not reveal any connection to Dr. Wapas. This is yeah, our role play we right don't, now. We I don't would, know Dr. Wapas. step away from him. <laughs> Massively. <laughs> we don't know him at all. Think, think about it like this. We said we have campaigns at the casino. We didn't say which ones. If one of our campaigns started like, oh, you're a big bad guy. Ho, 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 ho. I'm poking you. What are you going to do? Kills him. I don't know him. Look, he just showed up the same time I did. That's all yeah, I'm saying. Nothing I, 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 to do with he, me. He walked in the same time that I did. He is not part of our group. Then I'm going to try and sleight of hand his belt then. Holy shit! Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hunter I guess wants to die? What I really the hunter have, to ask. have his gear? What the hunter ask, have though. his gear? If Whoopass got killed for this shit, what gets you in the cube? Like, <laughs> well, let we the can... hunter have his gear. Let the hunter have his gear. He shot the deer. Let him take it. We can tell. Well, we can tell. We can tell him one brain. We can tell him one brain down. Thirty nine, forty nine to go. He's a robot, though. I don't think that, that would work. Wait. So I have a question. Would our entire party in the casino know that Doctor Whoopass just died, or only the people that were actually like with it? I saw by sight? Yeah, I mean, people who clearly see it can clearly relay that to the rest of the party, but uh, otherwise uh, otherwise, it's line of sight only. Uh, quick correction there on your stats there, Mark. Uh, we do the standard array variety. All right. Just while we're going through this section, can I clarify something real quick with you, Daniel? Sorry. Sure. Um, I obviously missed um, any conversation that we've had about how the party communicates. And I was just wondering whether we have any kind of instantaneous connection for communication or whether we actively have to tell people over some sort of channel, um, just so I know like how information spreads within the group. There is a dedicated comm channel that you have to use. They are hand comms, so if you're not holding it in your hand and you need to, like, quick do something in the midst of combat, it would technically take a bonus action to grab it and then speak into it. The length of what it is you're trying to say determines whether it's a free action or anything longer than that. So if, it's like this, the if Connie Our was to say, the exactly, would that just be a Oh, a that's basic, action? yeah. Cool, thank you. Yes, indeed. So, uh, Cheval and his companion had already moved in on the body and uh, are in the process of beginning whatever they're doing 
uh, like just a few seconds before Cyrano began what he was doing. So uh, the question then begins, uh, if you're moving your token over there, feel free to do so, because that may change uh, just what we're doing here. And uh, they are certainly aware of your presence, and uh, Cheval appears quite angered at this moment, and uh, seemingly irritated that somebody is even stepping up next to him. Connie is in a blind panic and is going to kind of almost in a shocked state just walk towards Boomkin because she feels like the safest place in the room right now. Here's here's a little spoiler for you guys. I'm a level 9 wizard. I barely have a 5th level spell. You get ninth level spells when you're level 18 or 17 or something like that. Yeah, exactly. I don't think Viesta knows how to react. So is uh, Cyrano rethinking that, or are you still trying the uh, sleight of hand? I haven't heard from you in a few moments there, buddy. In non-gameplay, Emma has just gone and got wine from the fridge. Oh, it looks like uh, Diego's having the uh, Discord issue now. Looks like he's trying to talk, but we don't hear him. Do the, uh, the back out and jump back in, buddy. I can see he's trying to talk. How about now? Hello? There we go. Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to tell the Illithid that that was my friend. Okie dokie. I'm going to tell him that that that, 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 was, that that was one of my companions. And I'm just going to tell him that. Okay. Cheval kind of looks at you and then looks back at the carcass. You're lucky that I'm wise enough that I don't judge people by the company they keep. May I take his body? His body is mine. May I take his items? <laughs> his possessions too are mine. Well, I'm sorry, Mark. That's it for me, though. That's all I'm going to do. That's a brave effort. The cube separates at the midpoint. There is a vacuum gravitational effect that targets the body, sucking it into the cube. A few seconds later, the top of the cube presses back down, and the body is lost to sight. Rest in peace, Dr. Whoopass. So at this point, we're going to kill the initiative sequence because uh, everybody's kind of in the same area. We're all kind of on uh, the same mission or everybody knows of the group mission at this point. Some of us still have individual stuff, uh, individual stuff going on. But uh, let's uh, proceed on a, a more unified group front here, at least for a few minutes before we split up again, if we decide to. I'd like to ask the Elifid if he has any ideas where we could uh, find 50 brains for him. And I want to see if I can negotiate that down. Uh, your character does remember that you were all told not to approach him again until you had the brains or the money. Ah, so he may, uh, he may get pissed off that we're having continued exchanges. Thanks for the heads up, Daniel. Oh, absolutely. Everybody what? meet up near Boomkin, at least near the bolt blackjack tables. Good call. Uh, the nobles that were helping you guys just kind of scatter to the four winds once the power word kill is uh, displayed so openly at the uh, roulette tables. Um, so too are uh, these people. They're like, yeah, we're going to go play some slots for a while. Roulette's getting a little boring. So they're going to head over here. 
The uh, Dragonborn, however, they're still enjoying the uh, the roulette games, and in fact, there is uh, some snickering and guffawing from that direction in response to what happened. Do we have direct lines of communication with the judicial? You do. It's not like a instantaneous, like, come in, judicial, over. Yeah, it's just judicial. Like, it might take a few minutes to establish a connection. The comms officer may want to know what you want to talk about, and then it's kind of a determination process as to, yes, you do need to speak to, no, you don't need to speak to kind of thing. Okay, well, I would open up the lines to the comm officer and say this is Zyfax with the, with the team on the Olympic Casino. We need to talk to the captain immediately. Mission critical. One member already dead. <laughs> that makes it mission critical, I think, if one of our parties already dead. Over yeah, on the... so, that's so funny. <laughs> Over on the judicial, there's just... <laughs> um... House rule reminder there, Mark. If you roll a one for your hit points, you can re-roll it. But if you roll a one a second time, you are stuck with it. So that level six or level seven roll right there, whatever that is, uh, hopefully you get better. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I got plenty of health from this anyway. All right. First time for everything. This is Captain Piper. Captain Piper, it's Zyfax. We have talked to the Zaval character. Um, we would require either 50,000 in gold or 50 live brains in order to get to the location of the Don John. One of our members, Dr. Whipass, tried to communicate with him uh, in a disrespectful manner, and now the good doctor is dead. <laughs> you hear the sound of coffee being spit out on the other side of the line. Uh, and if he Revival. spoke, if he spoke Hades, it would sound like a Jabba in Return of the Jedi. Uta buta, fifty thousand. It's. There is no way else we can get this information that we can see. And uh, revival is also impossible for the doctor because its body is now trapped in an extra plane of key. I see. This is indeed a mission of top priority. 50,000. Ugh. Here, mumble something about better to ask for forgiveness than permission. The money has been wired to your group's account. Use it wisely. Return with the information post haste. Roger that. Now, do we go together with the money to him? I think a show. I think a small showing between just me and. Uh, he doesn't know exactly who's in our group, so it's probably better for just me and me and Sir. Maybe just me. I kind of want to. I want to see if I can insight him better. Okay. Or I'm thinking just me um, because now it's just all business. Your insight just isn't one. as good if I'm not there. If it's just your, if this is now just a business transaction because I'm waiting for the. Cha ching to hit in my bag, I guess, and then I'll give him the gold. I will give you a few moments to uh, concoct whatever uh, story you wish to present to our lifted friend. Are you going persuasion or insight or what? What? What are you planning on doing? I want to know how he has dealing with my family with my family's trading company. Okay. Uh, so before you go anywhere, I'm going to just touch you on the shoulder. I'm going to wish you luck and I'm going to cast guidance on you. 
So in the backdrop, some cards going on here still. Sarah's in her usual spot. Rog comes over and sits next. 14. Uh, Sarah's up first. Do you want to hit or stay at 13? Um, I will hit. Ooh, a 20. I will stick. Adam's 14 and... Oh, 22! And I've got... I have no idea. A 13... And oh, bust! Holy shit! Holy shit! I won. It finally happens. Ching, 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 About ching, ching. time. <laughs> How much did you win for betting a hundred gold? Uh, it's even. So hundo, hundo oh. in, hundo oh, back. Rip, rip. That's a bit shit. I don't want to play anymore. I'm bored now. <laughs> <laughs> I've done with you now. I'm bored with you. I'm going to cut you off. <laughs> I want to win some money, Next. not just gain back what I put in. No, no, no. You win 100 on top of your 100. Exactly. Like... Yeah, but that's... No, that's boring. She, she's, won won, she's, won, she's wanting like a 50 times. Um, yeah, I'm wanting like a... You know, like at least like... <laughs> like, you know, a couple hundred going on here. Not like, oh, you put in 100. Do you win a... If you want... I'll tell you what game to play if you want to do that. You play poker or Texas Hold'em, or you play slots if you want payouts like that. Slots and roulette are going to pay the best out with the uh, current games we have, because blackjack and poker standard is all they have. They just pay even. Yeah, but if you pay, if you play uh, uh, poker or blackjack, you would win all the bets on the board, wouldn't you? It's not just whatever you put in. You would like collect chips from other players. It is, yes. If, if you have a table game going on, yeah. If you have, like, a true table game where all the people are playing, then that's exactly how it goes. Yeah. Right now, but we go. just have right now we just have two people, so I guess technically she wins Adam's 100 as well. Oh, so you got... Th so you, you bet 100 and you end up with 300. Correct. Yeah. But it's still not enough for her. It's yeah, still not thirty-five enough. to one is on the uh, the roulette, and the big like multiplier multiplier jackpots are like slim, slim chance on the percentile rolls for the slots. Okay, well I'm bored that now. All right. Um, anybody else uh, playing blackjack, poker, or roulette in the backdrop? While I'm waiting for the wire, uh, I'm, I'm near good. a slot machine, ain't I? What about a slot machine? Am I close to a slot machine? Zyphax? In this uh, group over here? Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and throw 100 in the slot machine real quick. All right. Roll that percentile. Yeah, I'll chuck 100 in the slot oh, as well. Nothing. Busted! The Lithid will also accept donations placed into the slot machines. Because <laughs> that's what you're doing. Uh, 95. Oh, yeah. Pony is having a great night. <laughs> Roll a die three. Hit the other mini game. Not the Grand Jackpot mini game, but uh, this one pays respectable. A uh, hundred in, nets you 400 back for 500 total. Whoop, whoop. Thank you. He is indeed. How will I know when the 50,000 gets near us? Is it just going to appear in my inventory? I don't know where it was. Uh, basically, your character has a, uh, a cred stick that has the money wirelessly deposited to it, and you can use that. And I can just hand him the cred stick? Exactly. Okay, so is it already on there then? He has Square on his phone, so he can just do the swipe. <laughs> oh, okay. That works too. So, uh, so is the money already deposited then? Yes, sir. Don't forget, you've got okay. your guidance as well from me. All right, then I will approach him again. So, 
Well, Ooh, really solid is. point there from uh from Mr. Don. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna watch you with that. Of course, I watched a uh, a former manager try that when I worked in the casinos, and then I didn't see him come back for many hours. <laughs> it's because he gambled money from the store in the casino. The ball. I trust you have what I'm looking for. I just pull out the... Do I just hand him the credit stick? He takes it. Gives it a look. This will suffice. Enjoy your time in the casino. The information will be in your hands soon enough. Uh-oh. Thank you. And with that, the two of them... Start to head upstairs to the uh, restaurants and uh, other area. We're gonna the spend area it all on pizza. Go. I'm just gonna communicate to the group that I'm standing here waiting for some waiting for the information of my way to because that's what he said going to happen. Can Viesa ask Boomkin a question? Entirely up to you. Well, v Viesa has to go up the stairs still to go check that area for that elf, and she wants Viesa. She wants Boomkin to come with her, so she's gonna look at Boomkin and say, "Can you come with me? I'm too scared." So Boomkin kind of signals to Tentacles. It's like, you can take the eyes. Great line. Amazing line. Varys would also follow Viesa under orders from backpacks. Let's see another perception check. Do the others get to help me with perception now? Because there's so many of them. Can they also roll perception? Yes. Yeah, you'll get yeah, advantage. You hey, you didn't even need it. Never mind. <laughs> Do not need it. All right. Good news, bad news. Good news, it takes you no time at all to bad news discover that this elf is just fucking nowhere to be seen. Nowhere in this entire casino. Okay, we guess we'll go back and report that to Exilion then. Uh, HP, would you mind checking your um, Discord DM real quick with me real quick? I just wanted to, to run something by you there. When you get the chance. Uh, let's see. Just a bit of roleplay for the meantime. Um, Connie's going to walk over to Boomkin and be like, Did you see what just happened? What the hell is going on? Boon King kind of looks around like, I have no idea what you're referring to. I was playing Blackjack. So Connie, in a really animated way, like arms all over the place, gesticulating everywhere, is going to almost reenact the last five minutes to Boonkin, expecting a really big reaction. <laughs> 